Hello and welcome to the rave.com. My name is Lucas and I'm sitting here with Carl from Angel Spit. How's it going, man? Fantastic, Lucas. How about you? Oh, I'm lovely. Thanks for asking. It's awesome to be back. Yeah. Uh, you, last time you were here, uh, 2009 with KMFDM, right? It was insane. Haunted, brilliant, fantastic, crazy. Great. Uh, yeah, you guys usually tour with more like industrial bands. Uh, what are you doing with Blood on the Dance Floor this time? Blood on the Dance Floor actually invited us out because Angel Spit's a bit of a... They, they kind of like Angel Spit. Yeah? And, um, well, who, who doesn't like Angel Spit? My mum. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I know. But, um, yeah, they invited us out and they're awesome and uh one thing that's really exciting is that this is an opportunity for us to play to a massive all ages uh audience that we normally we don't get the chance to play to so yeah. this is crazy crazy fun um they're brilliant new year's day are brilliant and we are having so much fun and the audience are awesome like most of the audience have never seen industrial mayhem before so i think we're having the opportunity to convert millions to the cause great that's great. Uh, well, you just released a new album called My Name Is. Hello, My Name Is. Yeah. Uh, Hello, My Name Is. I'm sorry. What? Uh, tell me about the album a little bit. Um, it's all about the occult of the corporation. And it was inspired by me sitting on uh, a street in New York, uh, on Manhattan, where we watched people walk to work in the mornings. And they were so dead and dull. And a really big thing that drives Angel Spit is um, the tyranny of corporate existence. And it, it's not so much anti-corporation. It's more that increasingly all of us are being forced into this uh, corporate existence where it's no longer frightening to say, burn your Bible or hell Satan or death to Jesus or whatever. That's not scary anymore. What's scary is the IRS know about you and they're going to audit you and you're done. Or, you know, when you fell over and break your ankle, your insurance isn't going to cover that because you were intoxicated. Or that guy who, whose car you hit, he's now going to sue you. That sort of thing is now scaring people. Fear in the media, fear of, fear in advertising, fear in all of it. So it's really an exploration into what we are becoming as a civilization. Um, and hello, my name is, we, we picked that name specifically because when you enter a job, that's what they plastered to your shirt. Hello, my name is Zug Von Rock, Lucas, Carl, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's the label. So do you stand with the 99%? Of what? Oh, there's a big protest here in America. For, oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm. I think we as a band, we, are, we we're all behind that. Um, but our thing is is going a little step further. Is to say, okay, well, here's the situation, and it's going to take a lot and a long time to change the situation. And let's change the situation. However, right now, what can you do to make your life better in this situation? How can you, how can you utilize that? mundane trip to work on the same subway getting off getting on going to the same starbucks getting on at the same station standing next to the same people at the same time putting on your ipod listening to the same song getting off at the same stop at the same time walking up the same stairs following the same gray suits up that building da 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 da, -da sit down at your desk have another coffee turn on check your email how can you use that time how can you become alive again in that time because as as beings uh we are we are succumbing to exhaustion, and and this is something that um, that we're that we're all ag about inspiring people to do something instead of listening to your iPhone or you whatever you're doing. Try writing lyrics or think about if you wanted to be a fashion designer uh, during that time in your transportation. Think about the clothing you want to make. Do something with your life at that point. In your lunch hour, do something. Like pick a night of the week where you don't decide to go out, where you try and get home early. You turn off your computer. Don't check Facebook. Um, do something with your life in that period. Make music. Make art. Make Do something. Be Come, productive. Yeah, be proactive. Come back alive. So instead of looking at the world and your situation going, everything is so screwed, because you're acting creatively, you can start thinking creatively. And you can start becoming and, 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 and acting proactively to change the, the environment that you're in. Fix your relationships. Fix your job. If you don't like your job, be bold. Get another one. Or talk to your manager. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Think. Well, it had to uh, be a pretty creative move for you guys to add three new members this earlier this year. Dude! Yeah. Awesome! Did you just add like a, a, a video performer? His name's The Liar? Yep, The well, Liar what? is our video jammer from Hell. Yeah. Uh, and his job is basically to really interact with the whole concept of cyberpunk. Because cyberpunk's moved on a lot from the early 90s. And, you know, there's, there's so much more to what it is now. Like cyberpunk... 
I don't think William Gibson or any of the great novelists would have imagined that we have become a society that is absolutely plugged in. Um, you know, ask yourself, when was the last time you were offline for a day? No phone, no computer, no nothing. Doesn't happen quite often. It doesn't happen very often at all anymore. No, unless you are stranded somewhere. Yeah, on a desert island. And all you do is try to get back with electronics. Yeah, yeah, and with coconuts and monkeys and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we're, we're kind of pushing the, um, the boundaries of this, again, trying to become proactive in the internet, which is the greatest... Um, it's a new tower of Babel. Yeah, well, it is, and it's the greatest library on Earth, but we've forgotten that it's a great library, and we're only checking Facebook and YouTube and some other things every now and then. Like Society of Narcissism. You got it. Yep. We've got to get proactive again. We've got to start looking for information and getting past whatever is being fed to us. Well, it may not be uh, incredibly productive, but uh, today is Halloween. Yes. And it is productive for fun. Yes. So what? Uh, what's your Halloween plans? Um, I'll show you when we get there. We're talking about, we've got a plan. Uh, we've got a plan, and um, we'll break it out next. Uh, we'll, we'll show you the doom and destruction. Oh, lovely. Of Angel Spit on stage. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, we are broadcasting tonight. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, perhaps oh, the yeah. world will see. Oh, yeah. You shall see. Oh, good. You will know us by our trail of static. Hell yeah. All right. Well, uh, hey, thanks for coming out and talking to us, Lucas, Carl. thank you for inviting me on. Lovely. And uh, thanks for watching therave.com. And make sure to see Angel Spit when they're in your town. Rock!